Cartoon Network. How many times do we have to teach you this lesson, old man? I love the young people. What's up, Brussels and Exams? And today we're gonna be around to a video from Veil vale Scream on 94 saying Cartoon Network is going live action again. Does everyone know that back then and I believe 2014 um in 2004 to 2013 Cartoon Network tried to make um live action shows like Nickelodeon and Disney considering if you look at Nickelodeon and Disney, they had some great live action shows. Oh, well, now they don't. I don't watch the live action shows for Nickelodeon, and I never watched them for Disney because I just never enjoyed them. But, you know, for Nickelodeon, they have some good ones like, um, like All That, um, the Kenneth and Ken, Ken Show, iCarly, Drake and Josh, um, Big Talk. Well, now I'm just naming ones I liked, but you know there were some there were some other good ones that I think actually are, are underrated, like Ned's um what was it Ned's class of I, I don't I I forgot the show I don't know Zoe 101 and then um Ned's Ned's declassified of something I I don't know what what was that show called but I have to remember it because I never watched there or Zoe 101 I just know those are some shows people say that are good. And then for Disney, they also have some ones that I thought was like all right. They weren't that bad, like um, I don't know. I I don't watch Disney's live action shows, but some people who do will know they had some good ones. I know Nickelodeon had some good ones, and now I just don't watch them because I think they suck. But you know, Cart then when you go to Cartoon Networks. None of them were good. All of them were trash. And it's like, why do you have a li why do you have live action shows on the channel that's named Cartoon Network? You will obviously say it's a network for cartoons. You don't have to have ones for for like for like live actions. Like, okay, Nickelodeon and Disney do it. Okay, if you look at them, they're not. They're not that good. People, kids will probably watch it because it's aimed for kids. So, yeah, um, Nickel Cartoon Network is going live action again, and let's see how the news about it. Cause I'm not very excited for it, but I'll probably give it a chance. Cause why not? I always say I give like things a chances. Like if it's like SML, I always give them a chance, and if it's bad videos, okay, whatever. You know, so I'll, I'll probably give it a chance, and then if I don't like it, then I'll just don't watch it. So, yeah. So, I hope you guys enjoy the video. Please subscribe to the bell on those notify when I upload a new video. Comment when we're at the next sentence. Let's get to the video. In 3, 2, 1, we have our and cheese. How many times do we have to teach you this lesson, old man? By the way, I'm taking this intro. I'm taking that intro, for, just for minds. History is repeating itself. But in the worst way possible. In 2009, a new programming block revealed itself on Cartoon Network. Titled CN Real, it was mainly intended to compete with some of the bigger channels with live action content. Nickelodeon and Disney. What happened to destroy, build, destroy. These shows were These weren't... filmed in real life with animation taking a back seat. I didn't like these. Because they weren't fun. I don't know. See, like, I don't know, when you see that, you expect on for Mr. I don't know, from, like, channels like, I don't know, Mr. Beast, or, I don't know, like, if this was on YouTube, but was, like, aimed for kids, you know, and, you know, wasn't for, like, teens or adults or whatever, because I feel like it would have been filmed by Morris, but, you know, so, this feels... So, like, you know, if this concept was, like, done by either Mr. Beast or Morris, it would be great, in my opinion, considering, you know, it would actually be funny. Well, Mr. Beast, Morris, 
kind of if you're a kid, but from CNN, not really. You'll notice it isn't what we're used to. CN really yeah. couldn't even last a full year before fading away into obscurity. Many look back at it as one of the channel's darkest eras, which is understandable when you actually watch what they had to offer. What even is this? It seems like Level these executives up. had finally learned from their mistakes, but as you see by this video, we were very wrong. Cartoon yep. Live action content is making a comeback. This was revealed by their president, Thomas Shane. Cartoon oh no. On what he actually said. Cartoon Arc is getting back into live action with the blessing of audiences. The network has made live action shows in the past, never with huge success, but Ashamed said it is committing to the medium under his leadership. For some of his colleagues, producing anything other than cartoons felt like a bump. But when they ran the idea of live action shows on Cartoon Eric by viewers, they embraced the idea without a blink. Live action is partly a way to reach more girls. Ashamed's data shows that girls age out of animation earlier than boys before returning to it as young adults. Live action shows like the recently announced family mashup from Hannah Montana creator Michael Porius were greenlit with that in mind. Animation that does a stronger job of showing girls is also on the cards. Family mashup is about a mom and dad from different families falling in love and then getting married despite their kids being in competing acapella groups. It's going to be the very first real life Sean Cartoon arc in a long time and things are about to change. With news that CN would be returning to some of its most notorious days, a previous series co-creator actually came forward with a message. Adam Pava helped bring Out of Jimmy's Head into reality which was a blend between live action and animation, and it did not do well. Here's what he said on Twitter. Listen to this old man who was once bright-eyed and foolish like you. Long ago, I co-created a live action show for Cartoon Eric. We were run out of town with pitchforks. Learn from our mistakes. We raised you to be better than us. Listen, I think it's completely okay for channels to try new things. Nothing would evolve if they just stayed the same forever. But here's where the situation with Cartoon Eric is different. They already tried this before. And, and if you ask anyone what they thought about these previous shows in real we life, filmed. they probably won't tell. Tell me who liked the live action now, shows. Is it possible that the live action shows will turn out to be beneficial in the long run? Of course. But I still think if mean... viewers truly wanted to watch these kinds of shows, they have so many other places they'd rather go. Look at the name of Cartoon Eric. When you Cartoon had Network. Netflix, it's literally just network. This network, As not right cartoon. Now, it seems like Family Mashup is the only fully live action show coming to the channel, but this may lead to a snowball effect. If it does well, then there's going to be a lot more. But at the end of the day, Cartoon Network is changing. Whether that's good or bad is up to you. We're just gonna have to wait and see where all of this goes. Now, I'm gonna give the shows a chance only because I don't want to hate on it too much and then it actually becomes good I'll like watch because honestly it could be good it, I'm not even gonna lie like it could be better than I'm expecting so I actually am going to give it a chance and then see if it's good now in my mind if, if it's good I'll probably continue watching or just watch it on a daily I don't know daily basis or from time to time and then if it's not then I won't watch any of it and then yeah, but I am kind of, I am kind of gonna have goosebumps about this, only because I am gonna be kind of scared that this is, like, they're gonna do more live action shows, even if they, like, the ones they tried before failed, but, you know, we should still try, we should still give it a chance, and if it's not good, just don't watch it, and then just watch the other shows, and then, yeah, so, tell me, tell me what you guys think. Are you going to give it a chance or are you, you know, just going to skip it and just watch some of their other cartoons? Because there are some new ones coming out. So, you know, tell me in the comments. Are you going to watch it or you give it a chance or are you just going to skip it? And yeah. So, anyways, that was the video. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please subscribe to the bell and let us know if I win. I upload a new video. Let's do it. So, this video. I'll see you best friends later. Bye. Uh, peace. The beginning, we already winning. We ripping like Jack, so you know that we killing the flow. It's so cold at the bone, it's chilling. Just give me a minute, I'm feeling revicious, malicious, precision, destroy competition. The newest addition to walk up and kill is the war of attrition. We bring demolition, no need for permission. We never pay a mission. Hey, I'm a big dog, so I'll take a rain, spin flame like a dragon. Ice in my veins, open the air with the planes, looking down at the planes where little brains just trying to make some games. Hey.